Thank you so much, Sophie, for joining us today. We're looking forward to this uh, chat. Thanks, Rana. Thanks for the invite. Uh, you have an amazing career in mining and you've achieved so much. What would you say was the turning point for your career and why? The turning point of my career has been really at the beginning. Uh, I started in a mine in the north of Quebec as a production engineer and I was working with uh, operations a lot uh, and especially with the, the, the supervisors. And I really wanted to do that. And I've been asking many times, like uh, if uh, they would consider me to, to become a supervisor at, at some point. Um, I, I had a, a bit of a pushback. They were kind of afraid that um, for women, it was not, I mean, they had never been a woman in that role and they were afraid that it couldn't be, uh, it could become an issue. Um, having a woman as a supervisor in an underground mine. And I, I persisted. Uh, I asked multiple times. Every time that they, they had the role posted, I did ask. And one day they, they gave me my chance and I become a supervisor. Um, and um, I really enjoyed working in operations. That was a turning point of my career. Since then, uh, I knew that operations would be something that uh, I would really enjoy. It's remarkable to hear um, your persistence and your drive uh, to keep going until you got what you wanted in the beginning of, or the early stages of your career. And, and tailing off of that, I would ask, what are the key success factors that helped you achieve your goals and, and more? What are some of the lessons learned that you can share with us women out there to help us continue on our path? Ask for what you want. So that was the first thing uh, I've learned in, in my career. If you don't ask, don't wait for someone to offer it because <laughs> it might never happen. I feel a lot of women are shy to ask and really having the assertiveness and the courage to speak up and ask for what you want is really going to help some of us out there uh, on our path. I've always asked myself how I can make a difference. Um, how can I, like as um, someone coming in an industry that is very uh, male dominated, uh, how I can add value, how I can make a difference. Sophie, we've been hearing so much about leadership styles and, and how different styles enable different leaders. What would you say is your leadership style and how has it served you in your role? Yeah, my leadership style, Rana, is uh, definitely different from uh, what the industry is picturing. It's something that, and as you know, mining industry, it's a kind of a tough industry. Um, it's something that when I, when I started, people were telling me, you got to become tougher if you want to, if you want to grow in, like in your career, if you want to become a, a manager, uh, you're going to have to, to, to be like a a tougher person and um, I, I, I refused to do that. I kind of truly believe that there's other ways to lead people and you can care for your people. You can be, uh, you don't have to yell at people. Uh, you can be more a collaborative leader. And I truly, truly believe that you can still get the same result. And actually I've experienced it and it did, it did work. So I'm a big believer in not changing who I am. I do lead with my values. It's very important for me. Uh, and I, I'm very confident that in the future we'll see more and more different leaders in our industries. Thanks so much, Sophie. There are so many gems in, in what you said today, and I hope a lot of the women uh, hearing you um, are able to adopt their own leadership styles and lead with purpose. One, uh, one more, I guess, and that is, as you further progress in your career, what is the legacy you want to create? It's more about um, participate to change the image of the industry, like I said, uh, being a more caring type of industry uh, and making sure that I can inspire 
like more women to join our, our mining industry. So I can, I hope I can do that. I hope I will be able to achieve that. So that's what I would like to look back and say, hey, I feel so good because uh, I made a difference and uh, I, I was able to inspire other women to join mining industry. Thank you so much for your time uh, and great insights, uh, Sophie. I'm sure a lot of women out there are going to be enjoying this conversation and um, uh, get inspired. Thanks to you, Rana. I really enjoyed it.